Hello, my name is Anna Posh and in this video I want to tell you more about my time at the Institute of Pathophysiology and Allergy Research here at the Medical University of Vienna. During my summer internship of four weeks, I found out more about how superfoods such as chia seeds, goji berries or certain types of algae affect the epithelial cells of the intestine. I hope you enjoy watching. At the start, the cells that we would later stress had to be prepared. This is a 12 well plate. First, media was added to the wells, and then a strainer was inserted. Next, the cell liquid was pipetted into the strainers, and then the plates were incubated at 37 degrees. The next task was preparing the extracts. This was easier for the algae spirulina because it came in the form of green powder, but somewhat harder for chia seeds and goji berries where the preparation involved a lot of grinding, repeated centrifugation, as well as lyophilization. Now we carried out the BCA protein assay to determine the unknown protein concentration in the superfood extracts. In a nutshell, we did this by diluting the extracts and then measuring the absorption of light. The gastric digestion experiment was performed to find out to what extent the extracts would be broken down before reaching the intestine. An enzyme tablet solution was made, added to the extracts and left to digest for different amounts of time. Now we put these samples into a special gel that we prepared in order to carry out gel electrophoresis. This technique allowed us to visualise how much protein remained in the samples. In a current of 100 volts, larger molecules travelled slower and smaller molecules travelled faster. This way, molecules could be separated according to their size. The gels were then removed, stained, and subsequently de-stained. The result? Most of the proteins in the superfood extracts were digested very quickly. At this point, the cells, which imitated the epithelial barrier in the intestine, were stressed with the undigested extracts of the three superfoods. The resistance of the cells was then measured using an epithelial voltmeter before, as well as at various time points after the stressing. Now let's talk about the results of my experiments. So as you can see here, the chia seed extract did not seem to have an effect on the cells and neither did the spirulina extract. However, it could be the case that the goji berry extract actually positively impacted the resistance of the cells in the intestine. And this is what I want to end my video with. Thank you to everyone who was willing to explain things and help me. I really enjoyed my time immensely and I think I learned a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.